Okay, I want to go ahead and welcome everyone to today's MPUG Global Webinar. Uh, the topic of our presentation today will be Learn from the MVP, Tips, Tricks, and Best Practices for Using Microsoft Project 2007 and 2010. With that, I want to introduce uh, today's speaker. Uh, we're very happy to have Dale Howard back. I want to show you a few other things as well. Um, one of the things that comes up uh, in the uh, user community is you have a task that is in your project, and this task was a baseline. You thought you were going to need to do it in the project, so you included it. You assigned resources, estimated duration or work, linked it. You baselined the whole project, and then later you discover the task is not needed after all, and you need to cancel the task. Now, let me give you a really stern warning here, folks. Never, never, ever delete an unneeded task that is baselined. You can delete tasks when you're in the planning stages of the project, but once you've gone live and you're in production and that task has a baseline to cancel it, you should never delete it. Now, let me show you why. Task number 18 is a task that we no longer need in this project. Our team members have told us, in fact, here's what happened. Chuck Kirkpatrick wrote training module 03. He and Dave Erickson took it, uh, sat down together, took a look at it, and Dave declared no rewrite is necessary on this module. And they told you, the project manager, the task isn't needed. You can go ahead and cancel it. So you're one of the folks that doesn't know. Okay, You don't know. Nobody ever told you you shouldn't delete. So you go ahead and select the task and delete it. Now, the only harm it seems that happens is your link gets broken. So you go back and you just link, you just link things up again. You don't see any harm at all. At some later date, when you've forgotten about the task, you go to the work table. And you're in a meeting with your customers or some of your executives. And you happen to bring this table up, and you pulled the split bar over a little too far, and the variance column shows up. And in the variance column, you will see negative numbers here. And one of your customers or one of your executives says, how come those numbers are negative? And then you're going to go, doop, 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 gosh, I don't know. And maybe you'll claim it's a bug, or maybe you'll fake an answer because you don't really know. Folks, this is caused by deleting the task. Negative variance is not a bad thing. It's actually a very good thing. But by deleting the task, you have no way of proving or explaining why you have negative variance. Maybe this uh, is a... Uh, light bulbs for some of you. Maybe you've gone down this path yourself. So here's what I want to do. I want to show you the best practice approach for canceling a task in either Microsoft Project 2007 or 2010. The steps are nearly identical. What you should do first, locate the task to be canceled. Then you're going to go to the work table. And you can use trick number one from today. Right click on select all and go to the work table. You'll pull your split bar over until you see the remaining work column. To cancel the task, change the remaining work to zero hours. Change the remaining work for the task to zero hours. Excuse me, I had to take a drink of water. Folks, when you change the remaining work to zero hours, let me go back to the entry table here. You're canceling all of the remaining work on the task. It's not started yet. See, we're just canceling it. It's not needed at all. What Microsoft Project will do, a task that has zero hours of work will also have a duration of zero days. 
and it changes the Gantt chart symbol from the blue Gantt bar, which it used to be, into a black diamond. Well, that Gantt chart symbol is not useful in this scenario. This is not a milestone. It's something else. So step number two, when you have to set remaining work to zero, you should put your mouse pointer over the, the uh, milestone symbol for the cancel task and double click. When you double click in either 07 or 2010, Microsoft Project will give you the format bar dialog where you can format that symbol only. There is a shape pick list which gives you all of the default shapes that come with the software. There's no way that you can add more shapes onto this list, so you've got to pick one of these. Most of my students, the vast majority of my students, they lean toward either the uh, solid circle or the solid star. The winner, however, hands down is the star. They like it because a star usually represents a bright idea. Ooh, the star, yeah. So the, let's pick the star, and then we don't want to leave it as black. We want this to kind of stand out. So you can choose a different color. Now, if you're an 07 user, you are limited to 16 colors. Sorry about that. If you are a 2010 user, you can pick from thousands of colors. My students, however, they all like the green color. And folks, if you have 07, you can pick green just the way I'm doing. And then click OK. So once you've done that, you will see the symbol for this uh, Gantt chart symbol that is now the green star, which means it's something different entirely. So that's step two. Step one, set remaining work to zero. Step two, double click the symbol and pick something else. And that will become your standard symbol any time you cancel a task. You'll still have to do it manually, but be consistent. For every project from this point forward, if you like the green star for a canceled task, always choose the green star. Step three, you should always add a note to explain when and why you canceled the task. I'll skip that in the interest of time. Step four for you, Microsoft Project. 07 and 2010 users, you'll click the ID number of the canceled task, and then you will change the cell background color to something that would represent a canceled task. Now, in Microsoft Project 07, you'll go to Format Font, Format Font. And there you can change the cell background color. In 2010, you'll go to the task ribbon. And in the font section, you will find a background color pick list, where, again, you've got a choice of thousands of colors. 07 users, you have a choice of 16. And just for uh, clarity's sake here, maybe I'll choose a little bit lighter green, maybe just a little bit lighter green, so it shows up a little better than the dark green. Bang. That makes the task really stand out as a canceled task. Now, 2010 users, I need to show you a trick that your 2007 friends can't do. So let me hit undo. I'm going to take off the cell background formatting. 2010 users, here's what you can do. Again, select the ID number. And in the font section of the task ribbon, lower right corner of the section, there's a little tiny arrow that if you float your mouse pointer over it, it comes up with a tooltip saying font. And it says, show the font dialog box. What that actually is, that little tiny arrow, that's called the font dialog launcher button. And if I click that, the software will open the font dialog. Here's a new feature in 2010 not found in 07. 
It's a checkbox called Strike Through. You can actually use the Strike Through font to show that the task is canceled. It just draws a line through it. And all you have to do is choose Strike Through and click OK. And folks, look at that. That very dramatically shows that this is a canceled task. So folks, that's the only thing an 07 user can't do. But everything else I have just demoed, you can do if you're using Microsoft Project 2007 or if you're using Microsoft Project 2010 standard version. If you are using the professional version of Microsoft Project 2010 only, professional version because you're using Project Server or you bought the higher price 2010 uh, professional version that has a couple extra features in it for you, you also have an option called Inactivate. And that is the 2010 professional version way, but I won't demo that.